What's up guys and welcome to Plague Inc. And this is a game where you actually get to play as a plague. It's very different. You get to design and evolve a microscopic organism to try to wipe out, infect, and then wipe out the entire human race over the whole planet. So today we're going to be playing as the bacteria, which is the first level. And I don't think, yeah, we don't have any of these new genes to ATP boost, cytochrome surge. We don't have any of that stuff because I haven't played the game yet. And uh, we're going to play on normal difficulty because I am a little bit experienced. 67.3% of people wash hands. Doctors work three days a week. Sick people are ignored. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually, like, uh, in it actually gives you a, a realistic scenario of why it's more difficult. Okay, normal should be okay. I think we'll be all right. Oh, we have to name our plague. Why did I forget about this? We're not going to be PAX 12, that's silly. So, we have 20 characters. I used to always love doing this in games, and now I'm just, when I'm put on the spot, uh, Plague, something that's going to wipe out the world. <laughs> I got it. Here we go. We There's only a, a few people that are going to laugh at this, but I can I can think of a few. Is this going to fit? We're going to be Minecraft. Oh, no. Okay, maybe if I get rid of the apostrophe, Minecraft Let's Plays. Yes. Minecraft Let's Plays is going to wipe out the planet. Welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Okay. Select a start location. Selecting a country to begin your plague. When you click on it, you will see more information. Pop the start bubble to confirm or click on another country instead. So there's a lot of strategy involved in this game. When I said I hadn't played it, I haven't played it on PC. I have played a lot of this game. I've been playing this game for years. This was a mobile game first. This was my number one poop time game. And if you don't know what a poop time game is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a game you play when you poop. But I had no idea that this was on PC. Recently I saw Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and Z Royal Viking and Chill Chaos all playing it, making videos of it. And I thought it was really weird that they're all playing mobile games. When I looked into it, it was on Steam, so I had to get it and I had to try it. Like I said, there is a lot of strategy behind the game, and picking your starting country is really important, because if you pick a very industrial country where there are a lot of doctors and a lot of research, you can get caught very quickly, and then they'll make a cure and wipe you out. So you need to pick a country that's got a lot of Thor traffic, so a lot of people coming in and coming out to spread to other countries. You need something with a dense population, um, hopefully something that's a, a little bit more impoverished so that people can't afford to go to doctors. There's a lot of different aspects, but for me, I think one of the best ones to start is India because it's got an airport, it's got um, a port, a seaport, I guess you would say, and it's got a dense population and that kind of stuff. So we are going to start with India. Oh, this is so much prettier than on phones. Minecraft Let's Plays begins in India. <laughs> Such a great name. Minecraft Let's Plays has infected its first human. Weak, but used to hot temperatures, it must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. So we pop that and we get some DNA points. And where do we go? We click on our disease. Oh, okay. So here is Minecraft Let's Plays. And we can, to evolve it, you get to pick a lot of different things. You can pick a transmission vector to help it spread to more people and to more countries. You can pick symptoms to make it more lethal. And you can pick abilities, apparently. Um, oh, okay, so that's like survivability or um, being able to resist a cure, that kind of stuff. So you kind of want to get, there is a lot of strategy. There's two main strategies that I think are applicable in this game. And I like to call it kind of the sneak and show or uh, the, the gentle ramp. So with the gentle ramp strategy, the idea is you're progressively going to get more and more lethal and you're going to get more and more infective. And you're just going to kind of have both go up at the same time. And you just want to outrace a cure. But I'm going to try the sneak and show strategy today where we are going to try to infect the entire planet without anybody knowing. We're going to be completely unlethal. We're not even going to show any symptoms. And then we are going to evolve lightning quick to kill everything off. So we don't want any symptoms to start off because symptoms, you get stuff like a rash, a cough, nothing lethal, cysts, just little things that will tip off doctors to realize, you know, there's something new going around. We don't want any of that. So we're going to start with transmission. And we're starting in India, so what's a good one? We can pick uh, birds, we can pick mice, mosquitoes, um, blood, okay. I think we're gonna start with air transmission. Oh, we need, we need nine DNA, we don't have that yet, okay. So as the time goes on, You'll be able to burst more DNA points. Here we go. Tip, pop orange DNA bubbles to get DNA points. Pop orange DNA bubbles when they randomly appear to get bonus DNA points, which you can use to evolve your disease. 
So that gave us four. And when you spread to a certain amount of a population or you spread to a new country, you get more and more DNA. So that's how we're gonna be evolving. And I really like this game because the biology behind it is, is kind of sound. That is how it works. You need to get certain kinds of DNA, more or less. It's a, it's a gross oversimplification, of course. But now we're gonna evolve to spread via air. Oh, and the bacteria kind of plumpens up and changes a little bit. Cool, okay. So now, you have spent DNA points to evolve your disease. More options have opened up. Get more points by popping DNA in biohazard bubbles and affect people. So I think, ooh, that is cool. You can't do that on the phone, I don't think. We can take a, take a closer little look at India. I think I'm gonna play mostly zoomed out because eventually we're gonna get all over the place. Minecraft Let's Plays is spreading from person to person in India and will grow exponentially. You control the plague indirectly by evolving it. And it says indirectly because sometimes it will evolve without your say so. It can evolve a symptom, it can evolve something else because evolution is often random chance. It's just a, a mismatch of genes, stuff coming in, stuff coming out, that kind of thing. Okay, we have nine points now. Do we wanna go animals? Livestock, suspect, okay. We could also go second into air. You can increase those multiple levels so we can go up to three in air. Um, I think we'll go with animals, yeah. Rural regions, okay, so that's good. So now we're especially good in rural regions. Rural, rural, it's quite a hard word for me to say for some reason. But there's also some like birds which are better in populated regions or um, I guess it's called like metropolises. So it all depends on where you want to spread. And because we're starting kind of in the Middle East, I want to stay uh, arid. To find out more about a country, click on the country's name at the bottom of the screen to open up the country menu. Okay, so we can click on India. And we can see right now there's, there's 1.5 billion people there, and we have 173 of them infected, so it's coming along. Minecraft Let's Plays has mutated and developed the nausea symptom without using DNA points. No, 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 we don't want that. Okay, so if we go to symptoms, we have nausea now. The expulsion of infected material through projectile vomiting increases the risk of infection. So it is good in that vomiting will help us infect more people, but at the same time, if people are vomiting, they're gonna go to the doctor, we're gonna get found out. That's not what you wanna do for the sneaking show. So we're gonna devolve that? This one, yeah. Oh no, nausea, that was vomiting. We have nausea. Irritated stomach lining leads to discomfort, slight chance of infecting when kissing. So we're gonna devolve that. We actually get DNA points for devolving it, and now we won't have the symptom. China has been infected. Your disease has taken an important step in becoming a plague. When a new country is infected, pop the red bubble to get bonus DNA points. I, I'm gonna make multiple episodes on this. I won't be have reading like the tutorial, but I figured for the first episode, did you see that? A plane. There we go. We're in uh, we're in Ireland now. Let's see. No, we're in the UK. Oh, there we go. It's going well. I'm I'm not even on the map. Really? I'm not here. Okay, in editing, I'm gonna put Newfoundland right there, where it should be, that's ridiculous. Minecraft Let's Plays has infected more people in the world than TB, tuberculosis, it's a very infectious disease. A V-I-D as it would, a vid. Minecraft Let's Play vids. <laughs> yes. The water transmission upgrade lets Minecraft Let's Plays survive the new cleaning technique on ships and spread between countries again. Oh, that was the news. Okay, so there was news a little bit earlier, I think. Maybe, did I miss it? But the the world is con continuously evolving and you have to evolve around it. Ooh, I see an infected boat. Minecraft Let's Plays has infected more people in the world than HIV. It is an extremely infectious disease. Where's that boat going? Went somewhere. Red infect bubbles appear. When you infect a new country, pop them. Yeah, I already know that. Where did we go? Oh, we went to France? Yes, gotcha, France. Oh, we're in the US. Minecraft Let's Plays are everywhere. And you see, you get a lot more DNAs. Uh, USA is a wealthy country with high quality healthcare. Like I said, so you don't want to start there. To spread faster, you may need to evolve the drug resistance ability. That's a good idea. So abilities, drug resistance. And that costs exactly 11 points. What else can we get? Bacterial resistance, create bacterial shell to protect against all climates. Yeah, so you can actually get climate ones, so you can be good in hot, good in cold temperatures. Um, I kind of want to get better in other temperatures rather than drug resistance. Wealthy countries? No, we can do that. Oh, we're getting lots of DNA now. Okay, so we got 26 points. Let's, let's get better in climates. Let's get better in cold climates, hot climates. 
Nice. Now we can... Moving up north can be really difficult. Some of the hardest countries to get are the island countries, because if you get caught out and they close off their ports, like transportation, there's no way you're going to get there. So New Zealand, Madagascar, Iceland, Greenland, those are the real money islands. If you can get them, you can get the whole world. Again with the nausea symptom, man. Come on, we don't want nausea. India is, oh my god, we have all of India infected. Is that 100%? Zero healthy people. So India right now is the uh, the hub of Minecraft Let's Plays. We just need to spread across the planet. Oh, oh, look at China go. Oh, China's going down quick. When you hit the big populous countries, look at that. We're just going up by like a mil, a couple of million at a time. Oh, wow. This is going great. It really comes down to luck, honestly. There, There is, oh, do we just, what is this, Madagascar? Yes, that's one down. One of the big four, Madagascar, New Zealand, Iceland, and Greenland. One down. Oh, we got a big chunk of Africa, that's good. I've improved our cold tolerance again. So I'm hoping that we can move into these northern countries and I guess the southern ones as well. It should get really cold in the south, just like the north. So hopefully that's gonna help. Oh, we're getting, is this Egypt? Yeah, oh, Egypt's done, 100% infected. Saudi Arabia, 100% infected. South Africa, 100% infected. We are spreading real good. Look at all that DNA. We should spend some of this, I feel like. Um, where, where are we gonna go? Transmission, let's go two more. Let's go into air again. Okay, so we're gonna increase our water and then we're gonna go with extreme bio aerosol. Pathogen bypasses air water filters due to adaptive cellular shell, increases infectivity, especially in humid and arid climates, and plane slash ship transmission, perfect. So that should be all we need for our transmission. The ship one is really important. That's why I did water again, because they don't have an airport. Greenland doesn't have an airport. They only have um, a seaport. Mystery still surrounds the decision to postpone the London Olympics. Organizers promise it will happen soon, but no reason has been given for the change. Oh, that's not good. Somebody might be on to us and they don't want to admit it to the public yet. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh, we're getting north though. North is good. If we can get more north, we can get over here. See you later, Russia. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolute takeover. That's like 100 million people infected, just like that. And again, yes! Got Greenland! Oh no, not the rash symptom. Get out of here, you stupid symptom. Finally. Okay, so I think we have... Do we have Canada? We have Canada. I think we have every country now, by the looks of it. Yes, yes, yes. Germany, yes. Central. Okay, so I think we have everybody infected. We just need to wait a little bit longer and then we can kick it into gear with being lethal. And the thing is, the whole part of this strategy is once you have everybody infected, you don't need transmission vectors anymore. So you can devolve them, get your DNA back, and pour that into lethality, and then just kill everybody. And this really only works with bacteria. I feel like when you move on to other microorganisms like um, worms and fungus and stuff like that, they're all very different. This kind of strategy doesn't really apply, but uh, I really wanted to try this for the first one because it's just so satisfying to see everything red before you turn it black. There we go. See you later, Greenland and Canada. So if we go to the world, we can see that about 28 million of 7 billion. Oh, people are actually dying now just from nausea. Okay, we need to start evolving, I think. Or do we want to get everybody... I think we'll wait for 100%. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. There are no healthy people left in the world. The last healthy person on the planet recently came infected with Minecraft Let's Plays. Okay, so now, now we go to work. Now we really get... So we don't need transmission at all, so we can devolve everything. We only get two back. It used to be... Oh, we can't devolve that? That's lame. Uh, it used to be that you could get almost equal, I think it was like half back, and then they realized that this strategy was way too good. So now you only get, uh, you get two out of it, which isn't, isn't terrible. I mean, we're gonna get a dozen back, I think. Yeah, so we have 58 points to use in symptoms. So where do we wanna go? We already have, um, we already have nausea. So, oh, which one was better? I know if you start with coughing or cysts, you can go to the middle, and the middle is like total, like, um, like brain failure. Let's let's go with nausea. I kind of I like the way this is going. So we're gonna get that. Uh, then we're or do we want to get diarrhea or per pulmonary oedemia? Let's go with diarrhea. Minecraft Let's Plays is causing diarrhea. Dysentery, okay, and uh, insanity. Do we want to go with insanity? I don't know how lethal that's gonna be. 
Oh, it makes it harder to come up with a cure. Okay, I like that. So right now, Minecraft Let's Plays is making people vomit, diarrhea, dysentery, and totally go insane. Sounds about right. New minor disease is spreading. Yeah, it, uh, doctors might want to look into that. A normal checkup, a doctor in the Balkan states found a new disease which has been named Minecraft Let's Plays. It appears to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting this disease. The anemia symptom is mutated. Fantastic. We'll keep it. First death from Minecraft Let's Plays has been confirmed in Finland. You're 5,000 late, man. Bad luck or the beginning of something terrible. There are two ways to fight development of this cure. Evolve aggressive symptoms to destroy countries, which is more noticeable, or evolve cure resistance, less noticeable. So normally, you would kind of be racing the cure, but they would be coming up with it and you have to try to stop them. Not so much right now, they're all, they're all doomed. Japan is first to instruct doctors to begin research into a cure for Minecraft Let's Plays without greater funding. It is expected to take a long time. So right now, they're going to be working on it. Research doctors all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure for Minecraft Let's Plays. News just, God, the news is pouring in. News statistics show that Minecraft Let's Plays has killed over 75 million people. It is worse than the Black Death. Okay. That, that, that escalated quickly. The cure for Minecraft Let's Plays is at 25%. What? Why is this going up so fast? This is skyrocketing! What is happening? How are we gonna get rid of this? We need to become more lethal. Um, crap, 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 crap. Oh, this is bad. Insomnia? Okay, less productivity. That's good. Uh, Brazil leading global cure efforts. No, 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 no. Break that bubble. Break that bubble. No cure for you. Blue cure bubbles appear when a research team from Brazil finds something, pop them to destroy their research, and stop the cure from spreading. Oh my god, we're not going fast enough. No, stop, 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 stop. 50% complete? Why is this going so fast? This is all going so badly. We needed to be more lethal. We were too slow. This is bad. This is so bad. That is skyrocketing. No, no, stop, stop, world, stop. What are you doing? Just accept the cure for Minecraft Let's Plays is 95% complete, and deployment will begin shortly. No, it's done. Oh no, look at the... No! Oh, it's it was so close. Oh No Minecraft let's plays <laughs> The more scary Minecraft let's plays become by hurting and killing people the harder humans will try to cure it Remember this when evolving your disease Crap Minecraft let's plays has been eradicated Oh, uh, my, my damn hubris because I knew that it, the middle column you can choose between I think there's brain disorders and pulmonary disorders, and they meet in the middle for full organ shutdown. And if you pick those, then it's a lot harder for people to work. I chose the irony of the diarrhea and the poop ones, because I thought it would be funny if Minecraft Let's Plays caused people to poop themselves. But that's really good for spreading. It's good for infectivity. It's not good for lethality. And because of that, we weren't able to kill people fast enough. Normally, you would kill people as fast as they cured people just then. Oh, that's so disappointing. So I'm, I'm gonna revisit this. You know what? I'm gonna get my shit together. I'm gonna get better at this game and we are gonna come up with a new plague next episode and wipe out the world. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. No, investigate weird lights. Stop. No, Kevin, do not investigate any weird lights. Go back in the house. Go back in the house, Kevin. Where are you going? No! No! No, I told you not to! This is so bullshit!